What's up, everybody? It's your boy Meme here. Uh, my pizza's ready in two and a half minutes, so I'm going to be a little quick. Uh, for breakfast, I had a chicken finger and one of those square, like, naked juices, and that was pretty good. Uh, for lunch, I didn't really have anything. And for dinner, I'm having frozen pizza. I'm just hanging out today. I woke up at 10, 18 this morning, um, and I took a shower, got ready to go to therapy, went to therapy, that went well. Uh, and then I started going home, and uh, my sister was at the strip mall where I got, where I go to to walk home from. Uh, and so we were gonna maybe like walk home together, or like I was gonna maybe see her or something. But you know that ended up not happening. Um, and so I just walked home, and uh, yeah, nothing else is really going on. Um, I don't know. I'm just doing my thing. Uh, Yesterday, um, in fiber optics, in fiber optics class, I created, I put a connector on the end of a fiber optic cable, which is really cool. Um, you have to cut off the jacket, uh, and then you have to cut off the aramid fibers, which is just Kevlar, uh, which protects from pulling force. Um, and then inside of that, you have a cladding, uh, and you strip off the cladding from the fiber optic, and then you have a sort of shield around the fiber itself, and then you strip that off, and then you just have a fiber, which is just impossibly thin. Um, it's actually, the end of the fiber is actually so difficult to look at that when you're working with fiber, you have to have a black background. You have to try to have a black background because otherwise you're not gonna be able to see that, um, you're not gonna be able to see that fiber because uh, it's just so thin, way thinner than like a human hair, you know? It's just weird looking. Um, you just don't see things that look like that. So you have this fiber, right? Um, and then you get a connector and you put it into an oven. Uh, you put it into like a crucible and you put that crucible into the oven and the connector has some glue on it. Um, and then once that's melted, you grab the connector through the crucible so you're not touching anything super hot. And then you try to poke the fiber through this tiny little hole on the connector. My pizza's about to be already. You poke the hole you poke the fiber through this tiny little hole on the connector and you like, um, wait. Well, you, you put it through and uh, then you wait for it to cool. Uh, and then you take it out, right? And then you have this connector with like a little fiber sticking out at the end, which is actually kind of a good thing. So the thing you do is you get a uh, thing to like mark it and you just have to like slightly rub it on the fiber, right? So then there's just a tiny little crack. And once that's there, you can just pull it off with your finger or you can just touch it and it falls off. Um, and then from then on, you get a sort of buffing, like a sanding thing, like a polishing that you polish the end of the fiber optic cable. So then it's, uh, you rub it and figure eight patterns on like a little disc. And then you have a connector. Mine was pretty ugly. Uh, you could see a few of the aramid fibers sticking out of where uh, the connector connects to the jacket. But, um, you know, it was really cool. And I remember in my A-plus class earlier, they were like, oh, you can't put connectors on your own fiber optic cables. There's need, there needs to be a trained specialist to do that. And I was like, okay. Um, and now I know how. And by the end of this class, I am going to be the trained specialist. And that's cool. Um, it's just an elective. But I think, you know, the FOA certification is definitely going to pad out my resume pretty well. And, you know, it's cool to know how fiber optic cables work, considering they're the backbone of all networking. I hope everybody has a wonderful day, and um, yeah, see you, dude.